Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that within me. Bless his holy name. Thank you for joining me this evening. Amen. Again, in another time, a moment in the word and prayer. Hallelujah. God has been good. Amen. I can't complain this afternoon. Hallelujah. I hear the songwriter say, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and what he has done for me, my soul cries out, Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Truly the presence of God is amazing. And God indeed is amazing King. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to say welcome once more to a moment in the word and prayer. And I trust that this afternoon you'll be blessed by the word of the Lord. And somebody will be uplifted this afternoon. Hallelujah. So at this moment I just want you to text your neighbor, your friends. Amen. To come online to hear the word of the Lord. It is now a time in the moment, in the word and prayer. Hallelujah. And worship you. Yahweh. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we thank you. Amen. Can to start off with a prayer. Eternal, most unrighteous Father, we thank you and we praise you this evening. Abba, we glorify your name, O oh God. We ascribe you as King of kings and Lords of lords. O oh Lord, we welcome your omnipresence right now, O oh Lord. O oh God Almighty, I trust that God will bring a word to heal somebody's life, to restore someone's life. Oh God, I pray that to bless the Logos word now that I'm about to release in Yahshua's mighty name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So this evening I want to speak to you on the topic, 
you shall not be devoured. Amen. Amen. And then the scripture is taken from the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 6. Hallelujah. I'll be reading from verses 21. Amen. To 24. And it declared thus. Then said Daniel unto the king. O king live forever. My God hath sent his angel. And hath shut the lion's mouth. That they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocence was found in me. And also before the O king, have I done no hurt. Then was the king exceedingly glad for him. And commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den. And no manner of hurt was found upon him. Because he believed in his God. And the king commanded, and they brought those men, which had accused Daniel, and they cast them into the den of lions, then their children and their wives. And the lions had the mastery of them, and break all their bones in pieces, and ever they came at the bottom of the den. Father, I thank you for your word. Hallelujah this afternoon. Hallelujah. Somebody bless the Lord Yeshua with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We magnify the word of the Lord. Amen. We magnify the word of the Lord this evening. Hallelujah. As Zerubbabel said, it is not by might, nor by power, but it's by the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to talk to you. you shall not be devoured. Hallelujah. I don't know if someone has been experiencing. Amen. The end of the enemy seems like nothing is going to happen in your life, that like the enemy has the upper cut of you. But I'm here to make a proclamation, hallelujah, that you shall not be devoured, hallelujah. Amen. I want to talk to you today, amen, about Daniel, hallelujah, that God did not allow Daniel's enemies, amen, to devour him, hallelujah. The Bible said, hallelujah, that Belshazzar the king, hallelujah. Belshazzar the king, if you know the story of ne Nebuchadnezzar, amen, Belshazzar father, amen, that he exalt himself against the knowledge of God, and God take out, amen, the mind of a human out of him, and place the mind of a beast in him, hallelujah, so Nebuchadnezzar, amen, Belshazzar father, he failed, hallelujah, the Bible declared that Belshazzar, hallelujah, the king, hallelujah, he took the golden scepters and the, go the golden cups that was at Jerusalem that belonged to the temple of God. And he and his wife and his friend, they drank and have merry, amen, out of the vessels of the Lord. The Bible declared, amen, the Bible declared, hallelujah, that Belshazzar had received a dream, hallelujah, one that was terrifying, amen, when you woke up in the morning, Hallelujah. The Bible said that he sent for the magicians, the astrologers, the chaladines, the soothsayers, everyone. But no one could interpret the dream. Amen. And make the interpretation thereof to Belshazzar the king. The Bible said that Belshazzar's wife, hallelujah, went unto this and said, O king, live forever. There is a man whose name is Daniel. Hallelujah. That your father, Nebuchadnezzar, once knew, hallelujah, that there was no magician greater than him. For God has given him knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and the spirit of his God was with him. He is the man that can interpret your dreams. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It is so mysterious that when God is about to elevate your God takes some root that you have never thought of he would take. The Bible said that the King Belshazzar sent, hallelujah, for Daniel, hallelujah. When Daniel appeared unto the king, Daniel said, O king, live forever. Belshazzar the king said, Daniel, no one in my kingdom can tell me the dream. But if any man found the favor to tell me the dream that I have received and the interpretation thereof, then I, the king, hallelujah, will give you a, a, a robe of scarlet.
collect and I will set you up, amen. I will give you a position in the kingdom, amen. Hallelujah. Nevertheless, Daniel said, I don't want anything, but I will interpret the dream. Somebody bless the name of the Lord, hallelujah. The Bible said that Daniel made the dream be known unto the king Belteshazzar, and Daniel interpreted the dream thereof, hallelujah. Because of the interpretation that Daniel had given to the king, Daniel was promoted into the king's kingdom, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Daniel was promoted, hallelujah. And he was promoted, amen, to have a third office in the king's kingdom. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Bible said according to the word that Daniel had interpreted the king's dream because of what the king did. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because of what the king Belteshazzar did. Hallelujah. Amen. Judgment came unto his house and he died. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So the Medes and the Parasans, they took over the um, Belteshazzar kingdom. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It is time that God shall uplift somebody. Hallelujah. The Bible said, Hallelujah. The Bible declared, hallelujah, that King Deiros was the king that reigned. And according to that which Belteshazzar had already declared in the kingdom, Daniel was established. Amen. The Bible said it pleases Deiros to set over the kingdom and 120 princes which should be over the whole kingdom. And over those three presidents of whom Daniel was the first, that the prince might give account unto them, and the king should have no damage. Then this Daniel, Daniel was preferred among the presidents and princes, because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Hallelujah. Now so the favor of God was upon Daniel. Hallelujah. In chapter 5. Amen. Daniel, amen. This produced such excellent spirit where he found favor in the sight of the king. The Bible said that the spirit of God was with Daniel. Now because of that interpretation that Daniel had given unto the king, he was now elevated. Hallelujah. And as in the reign of King Darius, hallelujah, that he sent, he, he presented princes and president to rule over the kingdom. But to Daniel, because Daniel produced an a excellent spirit, the king set him to have dominion or control over all the kingdoms and above the princes. Hallelujah. And president, I am here to tell you that when God set you up, hallelujah, that the spirit of jealousy of men will come up against you, but their jealousy will not prevail. For when God is with you, amen, it don't matter the crowd or the company of people that is in with you. When God is on your side, you shall be, amen. You shall be an overcomer and not a defeater. The Bible said, hallelujah, that Daniel's spirit, hallelujah, Daniel's mind was in contact. And Daniel have an excellent spirit, hallelujah. Don't let anything derail the spirit of God that is in you. You keep your excellent spirit. Amen. Because the presidents and the princes, they saw how King Darius loved Daniel. And they saw the promotion that Daniel have. He was an honest man. He was a man with integrity. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And because of Daniel's integrity, there was favor. The door of favor was open unto Daniel. The Bible declared, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That because, amen, they saw how King Darius loved Daniel, the spirit of jealousy creep in their eyes. They tried to find accusation of Daniel, but they could not find any fault nor accusation. For Daniel was honest in all his doing. I want to say to someone, keep on being honest. Keep on being, amen, the honest person that you are. That the God above that see you honesty will promote you. And because of that promotion amen you will cause enemy to create among you you will cause enemy to strive up among you but you continue to remain faithful you continue to remain amen honest the bible declared hallelujah that the print the president and the princes hallelujah they envy daniel they seek some way of a fault for the king amen to demote daniel but they could not find any i am here to tell you when you keep 
keep on being faithful. The enemy will try to seek a way to come in unto you, but they shall not find any way. Hey, may they shall not find any railing accusation against you. The Bible declared, hallelujah that they come together and said okay i'm gonna set up a golden statue and we're gonna say over these 30 days no one should pray to any other god or, or salute anyone except the king Doros. so they come together and they conspired they make a trap for daniel for daniel to fall into the trap i am here to tell you that anyone that is plotting against you anyone that is making a trap for you to fall they them Themselves shall fall into that dish. Hallelujah. Any trap that the enemies are awaiting you, they are the one that gonna fall in that trap. But when God is on your side, no matter what man, manner of evil that man rose up against you, they shall not prevail. I am here to tell you, hallelujah, that you shall not be devoured. No matter what storm the enemy knock at your door, no matter what plan the enemy, amen, as strategically planned against you it shall not befall you for God is on your side the Bible said that they plotted and they said okay so they command the king to make a decree upon that which they plotted amen to set up that golden statue that no one amen anyone that don't worship that golden statue or amen reverence the king over these 30 days amen they should be thrown into the dens of lion I am here to tell you that when the enemy set up their derricks and for you to fall you shall not fall for God will be with you we serve a God that will be with you in the fire he said I will be within you the flood hallelujah no matter what storm may come your way no matter what hurricane that come your way God promised that he will be with you I am talking to the eagles oh God those that have the eagle anointing that not care what a storm the enemy throw at you you shall soar in the storm you shall live in the storm you shall come out of the storm victorious the Bible said that they plotted against Daniel but they plot did not go in the manner which they think it would happen the Bible said hallelujah that Daniel knew of their conspiracy hallelujah Daniel instead Daniel shut down himself and start to pray hallelujah and stop praying Daniel knew of his enemy the adversary of his soul Daniel knew of their plot Daniel began to pray more the Bible said Daniel went up into his chamber into his room and he opened the windows that were set to the doors of Jerusalem and Daniel began to pray three times a day unto Jehovah God hallelujah unto the covenant keeping God I am here to tell you when the enemy intensify your war your war fear when the enemy set up their plan do not be afraid of their devices do not be afraid of their derricks you continue pressing prayer for the God that hear your prayer will come through for you the Bible said that Daniel prayed three times a day continually as he often did Simple mean, although Daniel know of the plot of the presidents and the princes that they have for him, that did not end Daniel from praying unto his God. Rebo Shekelebo Sanda Kasaya, children of God, children of the kingdom, when the enemy is showing attack cut you when the enemies afflicting and persecute you don't be afraid of your bullets you continue hammering prayer you continue praising your god for the god that see you praising him will bring you out the bible said hallelujah that they come at Daniel winner one of the day and they found Daniel praying they went unto the king and said king oh king hallelujah Belteshazzar Daniel Daniel we found Daniel praying the Bible said that they draw out the trap that they have trapped the king with and said oh king remember that you have made a decree that anyone worship any other God different from the golden statue amen that there should be thrown into the lion's den oh God it grieved the king heart because the king know that Daniel was an honest man the king know that Daniel is a man of integrity hallelujah but the king did have to abide hallelujah by the decree that he have made the Bible said hallelujah that the king was struggling with it the king that did not did not want to throw Daniel in the lion's den hallelujah but they said 
based upon the Greek, amen, decree that the king had made of the Medans and the percent that uh, the king Belteshazzar did act to, hallelujah, put down the judgment on Daniel. But I like what the king said. The king said unto Daniel, O Daniel, the God in whom you serve, may he deliver you. I am here to declare to you that the God in whom you serve shall deliver you this day from every plan that the enemy has tachikali plan against you, from every setup that your co-worker may be setting up against you. I am here to tell you that the God in whom you serve will deliver deliver you this hour. The Bible declared that the king was restless the night. The king decided hallelujah that I will go on a night fasting. I will not play any music. The king did not want any music. The Bible said that the, the, the sleep went out of the king's eyes. Rebo Shakalababa Sandaya because he was afraid what will happen to Daniel. But I believe that Daniel was not afraid for Daniel know the power of the the God in whom he serve and Daniel know who he is serving I am here to tell you children of God when you know who you are serving and you know the God in whom you serve you fear no foe of the enemy you fear no attack of the enemy the Bible declares in Isaiah 59 when the enemy comes in like a flood then the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard so the spirit of God lift up a standard for Daniel I declare in your life this hour whatever storm whatever conspiracy whatever dots that the enemy throw at you the spirit of God shall lift up a standard against him for the Holy Ghost shall raise a standard against the enemies the Bible declared hallelujah that the king could not wait until the morning to run unto the den of Daniel and the king shouted and said unto Daniel oh king the king said Daniel hallelujah and Daniel said oh king live forever Hallelujah. The king was not making a shout. He was making a shout to see if Daniel was alive. But indeed, Daniel was alive. I declare in somebody life that the enemy set their derricks and they thought you will die. But you shall not die. You shall live to declare the glory of God. The Bible said, hallelujah, that Daniel said, Oh my God, I'd send his angel and shut the lion's mouth. I am here to tell you that God shall send his angel and shut every devourer that come to devour you. Whatever is the lion that the enemy put in your path to devour you, to kill you, you shall not be consumed by it. Instead of what the enemy put to destroy you, it shall become your friend it shall become your pillar i could terminalize it and said that because daniel have peace in his god because the lord sent his angel to protect daniel instead of the lion become daniel enemy the lion become daniel friend and daniel take that same thing that the president and the princes put together to devour daniel daniel take it for his comfort i am here to tell you in this season that every plan that the enemy has started Chicali plan against you, every railing accusation that the enemy has put against your door, every persecution that the enemy has set against this hour in this season. Hallelujah! You shall not be devoured by it, you shall not be consumed. For God is with you in this season. Rebo shaken dorobo sanda ribababa shanda baba kasaya. Daniel said unto the king, I was not hurt. Haba Kashandaraba Sandaya Rebo Sekendo Bobo Shanda Baba Saya Daniel was not hurt. Hallelujah. Instead, Daniel take comfort. Riba Baba Kashende Bebe Kosende Rebo Shekendi Bibi Kasandaya. I declare and I decree this hour. Mandebo Koshende that anything the enemy put to destroy you, you shall not be destroyed by it. You shall not be destroyed by it. I am talking, you shall not be destroyed devoured the Bible said hallelujah that the king said come out Daniel and the king unlocked the signet that he signed that Daniel should be stayed into the den of the lions the Bible said that the king take out Daniel I am here to tell you that every trap 
every plot, every fire that the enemy throw at you. Amen. God shall take you out of it. The Bible declared in Psalms 23 verses 4. Yea, though I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil. I decree that every shadow of death that come your way, you hear it shadow. It is only a shadow. Hallelujah. It shall not prevail against you. Yea, Though you walk to the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil. Man de bebe kosandarabahaya. For the Lord is with you. He has used his rod and his staff to comfort. That God shall deliver you this hour, mighty God of Israel. The Bible declared, hallelujah, that Daniel did not devoured by the lions. Man, I don't know what the death the enemy has placed to him, but I'm here to tell you that you shall not be being devoured by it. The Bible declared, hallelujah, in Psalms 121. Behold, he that keepeth Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. Ribanda Bakasaya, God that keepeth you, he will never slumber and slept this hour. For the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. Ribakasanda Kataya. I decree that God shall preserve you from every evil. And the Lord shall preserve thy soul this hour. Mighty God. God preserve Daniel in the middle of the night. I am here to tell you in the middle of the night when your back is against the wall I decree that you shall pray that God shall carry you through this power. Mande be kosere be hekese. The Bible said that King Darius he took Ted Daniel out of the lion's den. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. And the same den that the presidents and the princes have plotted. Hallelujah. Have out strategically planned against Daniel to devour them. The king make a decree that them their wives, Hallelujah, shall be thrown into the lion's den. The the Bible said that the lion have a feast on them. Mighty God and Israel. I am here to tell somebody that this same ditch that they dig for you they and themselves and their children shall fall into that same dish for you shall not be devoured by it I don't know what you are struggling with this hour you may be struggling with addiction you may be struggling with sickness but you shall not die by it this hour you will not be consumed you will not be de hallelujah devoured by it as the Lord Send an angel to minister and to protect Daniel. I decree that God will send an angel to protect you. I decree that God will send an angel to minister unto you and to take you out, out of every fireworks. Mighty God of Israel. The Bible declared in Joshua 3 verses 10. And Joshua said, Hereby he shall know that the living God among you, Makashanda Babasaya, that he faileth not. The Lord that take your out, mighty God, over out of every Canaan land, out of the plant of the Ittites and the parasite, the same God shall deliver you this hour. I am here to tell you that God is with you, and when God is with you, no plans of the enemy, no derricks of the enemy shall befall you. Rebo shaken de rebe kandaraba sanda riba baba kashanda baba saya as Hallelujah, as Daniel was delivered out of the lion's den, I decree that you shall be delivered out of the lion's den. Hallelujah, I am here to tell you that the Lord is your salvation. Whom shall you fear? Mandebo second obo shanda. The Bible said that some put their trust in chariots and horses, but you put your trust in God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Daniel decided that he will not bow to no other God, that he will not worship no other God, that nothing shall stop him from worshiping God. I am here to tell you. 
Let nothing stop you from worship your God. Let nothing stop you. Let nothing ender in you. As Daniel comes out of the lion's den, I decree that you shall come out, mighty God, out of every depression. You shall come out of every despair. You shall come out of every anxiety. You shall come out of under every shadow of death. Rebo Sakarabahaya, for you shall not be devoured by it. Mandebe Kondorobo Shekerebe Asaya, Ribaba Babaka Sendorobo Saya. Daniel was consistent. Daniel did not allow the conspiracy to box him in or to cage him in. I am here to tell you, let no threat from the enemy box you in and cage you in. That is the time for you to ball out. That is the time for you to shout out. That is the time for you to continue press. That is the time for you to continue push. I believe that Daniel declared as the apostle Paul said, I am persuaded that neither death no life not things present, not things to come. Hallelujah, hallelujah, no height. Mighty God shall be able, oh mighty God, to separate him from the love of God. We need to be persuaded. When the enemy is coming at us, it is not for us to close in. It's not for us to quit our prior life and begin to tremble. But it's for us to open our mouth as Daniel who opened up his window and began to pray unto his God. It's for us to ball out consistently ribaba kashende rebeka sanda rebo sekende rebeke seya as the lord took daniel out of the lion's dent i decree that god shall take you out of every dent that the enemy put you in hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord you may have that enemy at your workplace amen because god put his favor upon you and his grace and his grace and lock doors hallelujah because of that the spirit of jealousy created and they want to overthrow you mighty god they want to set you up i am here to tell you that when the enemy think they are setting you up for defeat god is only promoting you in the stream of greatness rebo shaking the baby kasaya for they thought they would would have destroyed Daniel but Daniel was a man with wisdom Daniel was a man with intelligence hallelujah the gift of God was with Daniel so they could not prevail against him the presidents and the princes that plotted against him they could not prevail but the jealous that they set for Daniel in the dent they themselves was fall into it I decree and I declare that every plans of the enemy that come against you I decree that Halabashanda, you shall not be drawn by it. You shall not be covered by it. You shall not be drawn by it. But the Lord shall take you out. Here to tell you, hallelujah. What you cannot change, God can for Daniel Daniel could not change the decree that the king has set hallelujah because they wept the king hallelujah the king taught it, hallelujah that these men that he promoted to be governors and rulers over the province over the kingdom the king hallelujah thought uh, that their plan was a good one but never know that the, ne the king didn't know Balthazar didn't know that it was a conspiracy to overthrow Daniel it was a conspiracy to kill Daniel I am here to tell somebody about you may be so honest at your workplace you're working so hard you're working overtime and those that see your up your your faithfulness hallelujah they try to overthrow Thrown your coming into the bus. Amen. Make mockery at you. I am here to tell you that which they dig it, they shall sh they they shall, shall reap it. Rebabakasaya. For whatever a man sow it, that shall he reap. Rebo second. 
Rebo Sakaya, every conspiracy that is against the life in this season, I command it to be exposed. Every spirit of being betrayal that come to betray you and to befall you i command it to be exposed as daniel was uplifted out of the lion's den, i decree that you shall be lifted up in this season you shall be lifted up the Bible declared hallelujah as they plotted for Mordecai. If you know the story well, Rebo send it the Kasaya. And the same jealous that they said for Mordecai, mighty God, they themselves was falling into the same dish. I am here to tell you that every day that the enemy said for you, Habakasaya, you shall escape because of God in whom you serve, shall make a way for you to come to, shall make a way for you to come out of it, Habakasaya, Rebo Sekeya. They could not stop Daniel because the favor of God was with Daniel and the spirit of God was with Daniel. Ha, ha, ha. I just caught the revelation here. Rebo Sekeya, here. Because Daniel persistent in prayer, yes, Holy Spirit. Because Daniel was persistent in prayer, Habakkuk's prayer. The prayer that Daniel prayed kept him. The prayers that Daniel prayed preserve him. I am here to tell somebody that in the time of trouble, if it be somebody that is persistent in prayer. In the time of trouble when the enemy comes upon you like a flood, then those prayer will shield you. Those prayer will be a wall of defense between you and your enemies. And the plan that they strategically plan against you, the plan that they plotted against you, it shall not prevail, it shall fall. Rebo sekendo bobo shanda baba saya. Ribaba ka sekorobo saya. As Yahshua said that men always to pray and not to faint. That is what Daniel did, Rabo Kasaya. Daniel knew of their conspiracy. Daniel knew that the king has decreed a thing. Mandobo Shekelobo Saya. But that did not hinder Daniel from keep on praying. That did not stop Daniel from being consistent in prayer. Instead, Daniel opened up his windows and began to pray more to let the devil know that they cannot shut them up his mouth. I am here to tell you, don't let no devil shut your mouth. Out. When the enemy tried to shut you down, that is the time that you should be bold. That is the time that you should be fierce. That is the time that you should take it by aggression and begin to pray as never before. Daniel opened up his windows so his enemy could hear him. Mama ko shere do hosai. Rebo sekele be kasanda. Rebo shekendo bobo sada bahaya. Hallelujah maka shendo bo saya. Continue praying, my sister. Continue praying. Riba Kasanda Kasaya. The God that see your prayer will come true for you. The God that answer by fire. Halaba Shendo Bobo Sekeya will deliver you in the season. Mande Boko Sekele Behekeke. Ribo Shekele Behekeya. I decree deliverance over you this hour. I said, You shall not be devoured. You shall not be devoured by that storm. It may be a financial storm. That the enemy, hallelujah, cut off your breadwinner. Mandeboko send the behinder. Because the enemy see you striving. Because the enemy see you progressing. Hallelujah. The spirit of jealousy. Hallelujah. The Bible said that the spirit of jealousy is cruel as a grave. Hallelujah. Because of that spirit of jealousy, the enemies sit around their conference hall, around their table and trying, amen, plotting how to defeat your man, the book of Sire. And because of their plan, that they strategical plan, amen, the enemy, amen, cause your finance be bankrupt. But I'm here to tell you that there will be a turn. I am here to tell you that there will be a shifting. Rebo Kosaya. Because you have been constant praying, God shall remove that bankrupt. God shall cause a financial breakthrough to come your way. Labo shande be kosaya. I lose the logos word and I apply it to your life tonight. Riba bakashendo bo seke. Riba kasanda babasaya. 
every conspiracy to dethrone you, every conspiracy to defeat you. In this season, we command the plans of the enemy, Habakanda, to be confiscated, and we command you to be uplifted. Mandobo shekele behoya. Here, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil. Mandobo shekele beheke. Rebo shekele basaya. The enemy may afflict your body, but I'm here to tell you that by the stripe of Yahshua you are healed. The enemy may put you down in depression, but I'm here to tell you that today you shall not be destroyed by it. Rebo sekendo bo seke riba kasaya. The enemy may cause some form of addiction to come upon your life, abakasaya, because they don't like how you're progressing. They don't like the favor upon you, alabasataya. So some form of addiction come upon your life you want to quit but you can't quit because I don't have the power within you to quit I am here to tell you that you shall be delivered out of it just like Daniel could not take himself out of the lion's den because the decree that the king made the king has made a sin neck the king signed upon the stone that he put at the dent of Daniel Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I just got a revelation. Ah, Baba Kosai. The enemy may sign your heart. Baba Kasaya. They plot their plot. Hallelujah. They set out their derricks and they thought it is the end of you. And the enemy has signed the heart. Sing the mean. You are final. There is no way out. There is no rescue for you. But just as King Darius make us signed off hallelujah daniel that daniel will not escape out of the lion's den but because the god in whom daniel served hallelujah shake a god was shown his power that that he was with Daniel and because God was showing his power that he was with Daniel mighty God Daniel comes out of the lion's tent without a scratch I am here the enemy sign your heart and say it is final note it is a final time for you but I'm here to tell you that the God that you're praying to the God that you're singing to the God that you're praising shall shame your enemies shall let them be confounded. The Lord shall take you out of that situation. God shall take you out of that situation without a scratch. Rakasanda, without a hurt. Rebo Sekeya, because the walls of prayer have been your pillar. The walls of prayer have been your pillar. Rebo Shekelebo Sanda, in the time of difficulty, the walls of prayer have been your shield. Man in the time when the enemy thought they would have killed you Habakasaya, somebody shout I have survived it I want somebody to clear upon this line tonight I have survived it without a scratch Rebo Sekendobo Sai I have survived it without a scratch declare it over your life declare it over your children Mandobo Sekeya Yeko Setelebo you have not been defeated you are not being overthrown. Namo shekela basai. But your enemies are being overthrown. Abasaya. The same death. The lion's den that they throw Daniel in. And waking up the morning to see Daniel dead. Mighty God. Bako here. And the decree of the king sign it up. The same death that they make for Daniel. They themselves and their wives. Mandabo Koshaya was thrown into it. They are the one that was consumed. They are the one that was devoured. They are the one that was destroyed. Mandabo Sekerebehea. Eh, Korobo Shanda Babasaya. You're coming out of that cage. You're coming out of that den. Mako Serebehea. And you shall have the last laugh. You shall be the one that have the last laugh. For God shall promote you, Mandobo Shekea. God shall uplift you. Eh, Mama Mase Korobo Shekere de Hakasaya. Abba Kasendobo Shekere de Hea. You are not being devoured. You are not being devoured. I declare that thing come to break you. I decree it only make you stronger. You only make you have a more testimony. 
in God. The Bible said that by the word of your testimony you overcome. I am here to tell you that you shall have that testimony of the greatness of God and the upliftment that God has given you. Mandabo shekele boho sai. Rebo sekele boho I need somebody to declare my God is well able to deliver me. Hey Baba Kasara Bahaya. God is able to deliver you. I decree that God has delivered you in this season. Mando shekele boho. Rebo sekele boho saya. Rebo sekele beka saya. Hey Kalama Shandala Masaya. I hear the spirit of the Lord said, My daughter, worry not. For I, the Lord, I am with you. Mando bo seke masaya. I have seen your tears, said the Lord. Rabo sheke. I have seen thy tears, and this is a season that I'm about to take you out of it. Mando bo kosira bahai. Ribaba sheke lo bo seke no bo seke ya. You shall not die by it. You're coming out without a scratch. You're coming out, take it up, take it You're coming out in the name of Jesus, Yeshua Amashiaka. I decree that you're coming out in this season. Hallelujah, Father. We thank you for your word today. We thank you for your word today, Holy Spirit. We thank you for your word today. We thank you for your word today, Habakoshende Rebosaya. We thank you for your word today. I declare Exodus 14. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptian whom ye see today, you shall see them again no more forever. For the Lord shall fight for you, and he shall uphold your hand. I decree and declare, the Egyptian that you see today, you shall see them no more tomorrow. For the Lord shall uphold your hand. Abakasaya, the Lord said to tell somebody that I will fight for you. The battle that you're going through, God said, I will fight for you. Manda ba sheke lo bosa. Riba kasanda ba sataya. Manda bo sheke. For the Lord shall uphold your hand. God will not let you be consumed. And God will not allow you to be defeated. Hallelujah. We thank you today, God. We thank you today, Father. We thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. We bless the name. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Somebody declare, I have survived it. I'm coming out without a scratch. Rebo sekendo bo sekere de here. Riba kasando bo shekeya. I decree over your life today. I declare this prophetic prayer. Before I do this prophetic prayer, I want somebody to lift your hand and say thank you, Jesus, seven times. Yeshua Amashiach. I want you to say thank you, Lord. Rabo Seke. As Daniel put a praise upon it. I want you to put a praise upon it. Habakasa. Rebo Sheke Nobo Saya. Somebody someone begin to praise God and put a praise upon it. Labo Seke Nobo Sa. Ribo Sheke Loboho Sa. Hallelujah. I hear the spirit of the Lord said someone has received a dream. There's a dream that you have received. Hamakasaya. Hallelujah. I decree. There's an animal that you saw in your dream. Hamakasaya. I decree that whatever the animal represents in your life. Or whatever root of your life that that animal represents in the dream to devour you. I pray against it, ever poisonous potion, ever beating that the enemy has beaten you to the dream, the realm of that dream to that animal. I decree whatever part of your life that the enemy has limbered, that whatever part of your life that the enemy has afflicted through that dream, I command deliverance from it. And I break that spirit this power, Manda Bakasaya. I decree not to be manifested into the physical life. Robo Shekeya. And I command divine healing right now in the mighty name of Yeshua. I command divine healing. Manda Bokosaya. Eh, Kuridio Sheke Robosa. Eh, Mama Masakanda Labashata. Ribaba Sekoto Roboshaya. Deliverance in the mighty name of Yeshua. 
I break that power of the enemy in that dream through that creature, that animal. I speak deliverance over you this hour in the mighty name of Yeshua. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We command the shifting right now. Mighty God, I'm going to pray against every devouring spirit that may come in the form of your dream and every devouring spirit that have been manipulating and controlling your life. I'm going to pray against every devouring spirit at this time. Manda bakusheke lobosa. Rebo sheke nobobo seke nobo sai. Riba ye korobo sheke rebe kasaya. Riba baba ba sheke rebe kotorobo sa. Rebe bo sheke rebe ya kasaya. My father, my father, I bind and I cast out ever devouring spirit in the mighty name of Yahshua. Let the yoke of devourers be broken into pieces. I pray that God will arise right now in this hour and break every yoke, mighty God of devourers. That are signed against you, that are signed against your breakthrough, that are signed against your finance. I command it to be destroyed now. Rebo shaken no bobo saya. I bind and I cast out from your life. Ever spirit, man no bo shaken no robo saya. Of locking, ever spirit. Of foresight, Manda Bakasaya, the hold you down in captivity, Labo Shaka. I rebuke it and I bring it down now. He Korobo Saya, Holy Ghost Fire. I command a Holy Ghost Fire, She Korobo Saya. I close every event door of devouring, every event that the heaven open you, open over you. Of devouring, I close it in the mighty name of Jesus. Rebel satire, and I declare the, the, the heavens of glory to open over your life. I declare the heavens of favor to open over your life. I declare the heavens labo shake seya of elevation of promotion to be over your life now. Rebo shake kasaya ribaba kasaya every destructive failure. I command now in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Every destructive failure that the enemy is put in your path, I command it to dry up. And I command the key of success to be released into your life. I decree and I declare that every spirit of backwardness that the enemy presents in your life, I command it to go now. I decree and I declare that every dream manipulators, that every dream frustrators that come against your destiny, I break it in the mighty name of Yeshua Amashiach. I command it to be destroyed. Robo second Robo Saya. I decree and I declare that every money devouring spirit that the enemy set to devour your finance, that the enemy set to devour your resources, that the enemy set to devour your helper, I command it to be broken. Somebody begin to lift their hand and begin to give God thanks. Robo Shakaya, I break every devouring spirit. Robo that come to stop you from elevating, that come to, to stop you from enter into the lane and stream. Abakasaya of greatness into your future. Rabo Sekeya Bakaya, I bind every devouring spirit that come to cause affliction in your body. Rebo Sheke Lobo Saya. I command that devouring spirit to lose his stronghold. I say lose your stronghold now. I command this power. I command you to be released from every yoke of the devourer. Whosoever is that devourer, whatsoever is that devourer, I command it now to be destroyed. I command it to come down by fire. Zele kolosha, zele kete leketa, jakalaka palapose, ropote kelekesa, ribaba shekete, rikatendo boseke, ribaba kasekete, ribaba ba shekondo bosaya. I bring down the altar of devourer. I bring down every altar that come to devour you. I bring it down in the mighty name of Yeshua. Yeah, Kolobo 
I decree that you shall pull down every stronghold. Robo second Bosaya. For the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but they are mighty to God. To the pulling down of stronghold, I command that stronghold of devour of devouring that is over your life abakaya that have taken root in your life i command it to be cast down and i command it to be uprooted by fire spirit of devouring i break you from their lives abakasaya i break you from somebody health i break you from somebody marriage rabakasaya there is a witchcraft devouring spirit that has not somebody marriage but I command that devouring demon, I command that devouring principalities to be broken this hour. Rebo Shakala, I hear the Holy Spirit said that someone have received a dream, Alabakasaya, like you were having sexual, sex, sexual intercourse, Rabakasaya. Rebo Sekendo Bo Sekeya. And when you wake up, it's like you see that this child, Rebo Sekende Be Eko Robo Saya. The Lord said that the seed of devouring have been planted in your life. Manda Bakasaya. Every time you try to progress, you will not progress because that spirit has been birthed to the spirit of incubus and succubus. Rebo Shekeya. Wherever you are, I want you to lay your hand upon your belly. I want you to lay your hand where your neighbor is. I decree and I declare that every spirit of devouring that have taken root to the dream Habakasaya and come to the realm of sexual intercourse, I command it to be broken. I command that seed of devouring to be broken. I hear the Lord say it has been affecting your life. It has been affecting your things. It has been affecting your action. It has been affecting your marriage. It has been affecting your relationship. This hour by the power of God, I command that seed to be aborted. I command that seed of devouring to die by fire. I command deliverance. I command deliverance. I hear the spirit of God say to the word of knowledge that person shall feel a essence like fire around the neighbor. I command deliverance. That demon that you have been pregnated, the spirit of devouring, I command it to be broken by fire. And I command your realm. I command I command your dreams, your womb of carrying greatness. I command that greatness to come alive. As I bought about the spirit of devouring, I command the seed of success to come forth. For the word of God declare that out of your innermost beam shall flow rivers of living water. I command life to spring. I command water to flow. Every domination, every condemnation that the enemy has set upon your life through that dream, I command it to be destroyed by fire and I command deliverance this hour. Jeke lobo seke lobo sha. I command the shifting now. Zele koto lobo seke. Zebaka sheke lobo saka. Mandebo seke lobo sheke ya. Riba baba bade keke. Riba baka saya. Receive your deliverance now, Kalabashaya. Receive your healing from that devouring spirit. I declare and decree that you will feel a difference in your body. I decree and I declare, Habakashaya, that your life shall be changed this hour. A turn around is now, Rabosaya. A turn around is now, Kalabashaya. A turn around, Kalabashaya. I speak life in your mind. Oh, I'm a shake I speak life upon that marriage, Rabba Kasaya. The seed of devouring has now been rebuked. And I command the seed of success. I command the seed of life. I command the seed of oneness to be in that marriage now. Robo Sekendobo Sekala Bahai. Rebo Sekelobo Shekelobo Hosaya. My father, my father. I thank you now, God, to deliver that marriage. I thank you right now, Kelobo Sekirobo Hose. Hey, my.
mighty God, we both shaka. I thank you for that shifting. Somebody say thank you, Lord. Robo se kele bo seya. Somebody begin to praise God. Robo sa. Riba baba de ko she kelo bo sa. Riba baba ka se koro bo she kelo bo sa ya. Riba baba ka sa kure de ko se kore de he ya. I command the turn around now in the mighty name of Yasha. Today I decree. I declare the decree. Mando bo se kaya. Riba baba ka se ndo bo ko se ya. Riba baba ka se koro bo ho se kaya. I declare the decree, Abakasaya. Hama shekoro bohonde de beheke seya. That your deliverance is now, your turn around is now. E koro bobo shekele bo sekele behoko sa. And I decree and I declare that that weapon is broken now in the mighty name of Yeshua. I command you to receive it in the mighty name of Yeshua. Somebody type Amen and Amen. Receive your portion in the mighty name of Yahshua. And any time the enemy comes to perplex your mind, any time the enemy comes to provoke you, Abakasa in that marriage, tell the devil that he is a liar, that you have not been devoured, Rabo Sete, and the word of God declare, Hamasato Robo Shendabo Saya, that you shall come out, you have come out without a scratch, and there is a new day a dawning in your life. I command you to receive it in this season, in the mighty name of Yeshua Amashia. Receive from the Lord, Abakasaya. Receive from the Lord, receive in the mighty name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. I want you, amen, to continue to like and share and subscribe to this channel. If anyone needs special prayer, a prayer request, amen, you can call the prayer line at 876-475-3847. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining me in a moment in the word of prayer. Looking forward to see you Thursday at 5 p.m. Shalom. God bless.